hi guys you're welcome back to the crypto niche channel and um today i want to talk about um an important topic that most people are not really talking about in the um, crypto trading niche okay so it's about dollar cost averaging okay how can you do dollar cost averaging in such a way that you will always beat the system okay so today i'm going to show you how to do this so we we'll start from okay. What is a DCA? When are you going to, when are you supposed to use it? How do you use it? When to use it? Okay, how to use it? Then um, how to automate a dollar cost averaging strategy. So these are things I'm going to teach you today. So if you watch this tutorial to the end, then you will learn the effective way to do DCA and the kind of um, coins that you should be doing DCA on. All right. So um. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel okay you know every day you notice this every other day i upload a lot of valuable contents on the um, youtube channel so you want to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification button and also invite your friends to the channel to learn and gain value valuable information from the entire um, channel and the community okay so don't forget to join us also on telegram okay so i'm going to be leaving the telegram um group link also so if you have any questions or anything you just be a part of the community all right so going to this dollar cost average it is not difficult i think i wrote an article about it uh let me check medium.com i read an, an article about it dollar cost averaging oh uh, let me check the stories the published stories okay so i'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna leave a link to this article so that in case you want to explore more it is really self-explanatory article okay about this year so it is just about you know buying a particular crypto a particular crypto at different price levels okay let me use this as an, as an example at different price levels so that you can leverage on the price fluctuation a typical example of a coin that you want to DCA on is EOS. Okay, so before I go into that, DCA is like you want to buy a particular coin at different price level. Okay, at interval. So let's assume that you have like you have like um, a thousand USDT right now, and you want to DCA on EOS. Okay, so you keep buying consistently at different price level okay so let me pull out the chart on trading view so that i can have a better understanding of how it looks like okay let me go to charts on trading view then um i'm gonna go to search for okay us usdt on binance what about KuCoin? okay on kucoin fine so this is the chart for us this is a one day chart for us if you, if you go back to one week time frame on us then you have a clear view of what it is okay so imagine someone who wants to do this here on us okay imagine that you are doing like um monthly monthly um, this year on US, you know, I did something like I mean, probably bought at this point. This is the top, right? Then it got to this point. You bought also again, and at this point, then you're able to buy. I'll be able to buy the bottom, okay? So by the time it moves to this point, then you should be able to make a reasonable profit from it, despite the fact that you're not waiting until it gets to this point. So if you had bought the top here, okay, and let's say you bought the top around. Oh, let me use dots. Okay, let's say you bought the top around here. Okay, then you will not be able to sell in profit until the price actually gets to like like twelve dollar per per coin. Okay, so but if you are doing dollar cost averaging, then definitely you should have no cost for alarm. Now, how do you do dollar cost average effectively? Okay, I'm going to show you the best approach to it. So just stick around with me. Okay, I'm going to show you the best approach to it. Now. Let's assume that you have a thousand dollars. Okay, let me. I think there is a DCA tool on okay, dollar cost averaging. DCA tool, yes, that we can use. Okay, let's try this. This is one of the most used DCA tool that you can find on the internet. Uh, let me wait till this is completely loaded on my screen. 
So you see something like if you are doing this on BTC, for instance, okay. Uh, let me see. Let's assume you want to do this on uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Crypto. Let me go to crypto. All right. So you want to do this on Bitcoin. I know you want to leverage the price volatility of Bitcoin. And if they do this here for a couple of let me let me refresh this. Man, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> right, so let me go back and I think there's particular I forgot the uh okay, let me say crypto uh crypto dollar cost average calculator okay i think that will be that will make sense okay or okay that this is it i got it so now let's assume that you're doing this here on you have a thousand USDT, and you have to be doing this here on a weekly basis like on a weekly basis okay so now you're not using like 100 per week in the for oh, for like 10 weeks in the last 10 weeks okay so let's say you have 100 and you're doing it weekly okay for like um any weekly for six months okay for six months per week will be 400 okay for six months will be like um 2400 right so starting accumulate for six months starting six months ago so what would be your profits okay so you see that you are still down like 11.38 percent okay it's because you're not doing this CA correctly. Okay, there is there are other strategies. It's because we are static, we are doing it only 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 hundred. Okay. Now let me now show you something on how to go about it. Uh, where is it? Let me show you the strategy. Want to do this CA really is when there is no best time to do this CA. That's the truth. Because as far as the asset is valuable and you have the mindset of holding for a long time, even if something if even if the market is direction is going against you. So there is no best time to do this year, okay? But this year is always interesting when the price of the particular asset you are trying to, you know, buy is dropping, like it's going down, down, downward, okay? So because you are sure that if it should rise up again, if it should go up again, if there is an uptrend, then you'll be able to make some amount of it, okay? So but here is how to go about it. This was, if I'm going to be doing this year, on a particular coin for the next couple of weeks this is what i'm going to do let me show you now so let's say i have like um a thousand usdt for dca okay so i'm going to do this i'm going to buy first buy i'm going to buy at 100 second buy i'm going to buy at 150 third buy i'm going to buy at 200 fourth is going to be like 250 okay the way this one will work is that you know you are buying more at cheaper rates buy more at cheaper rates so you don't even need to wait for a significant reversal okay for you to make reasonable profit out of it okay so that is one strategy okay that is if you are buying it manually but if you are buying it like you're using a board to buy it which i'm going to show you now then it's different entirely so when you come here okay Let's say, are, let's say we are using we are using um, US and this is let me go to the weekly chart of US weekly charts of US USDT okay where is KuCoin okay so let me click on KuCoin now we are giving it a set of instruction like okay every time let's say the, the current price of US is at 4.48 right now. So you're not saying that every time US drops by 20%, you are buying it. So it is not, you're not programming the board to be buying at time interval. You are telling it to buy at a particular percentage price drop. Do you understand it? So the risk is minimal. That's the truth. The risk is minimal because we are giving it a specific instruction. Okay. But if you are only buying based on time frame, like okay, every week or every day or every month. You know, the risk is that you cannot say you can you, you cannot determine the percentage drop at which you want to buy. Now let's go to BitGap. They have a, they recently launched a bot on um, DCA. Okay, so 
I, I don't have any bot that is launched yet. So I'm going to be launching this one now. All my bots are closed for now. So let's launch a DCA bot. And this is how to go about it. So this is DCA bot. Okay. Then um, you know come here and click on accept after reading all of these terms. Okay. So we want to DCA on US, US, there's a price gap here that needs to be filled. <laughs> Can you see there's a price gap here? So now let's go now. So right now you cannot short, you can only long. Okay, you can only long right now. So we're going to come here and say, okay, we want to our exchange is coin and then we want to do this here on this. So we're going to click on continue. So when you click on continue, let's say I want to be doing like um 10 USDT. Okay, you cannot accept that 20 USDT per price movement. Okay, so at the current market price now, 20 USDT can only buy 0.8877 US right now. Okay, so I will click on continue. You have two options. You can use indicator. If you are using indicator, okay, maybe you are using maybe it is the indicator that will trigger the buy action. Okay, probably when it is at over overboard or something, okay. Then that is you can even come here, you know, and look for other indicators like RSI, Stochastic, MACD, and all that. But I'm not using indicator for now, so I'm going to be using my own rule. I'm not depend on indicator whatsoever. So I'm going to be using my own rule. So what I want to do now here is this: you can come here and click on settings if you want to use the price range. So I want to use the price range. So I want, I want to have a minimum, a maximum price range. Okay. Let me use a. Um, 3.0 that's the maximum okay 3.0 is like 3.31 like percent price increase from the current price that you are, you are seeing here so i mean uh, the minimum should be like 1.8 yes so 1.8 is like minus 20 percent down from where we are right now do you understand it so but now i'm not i want to be the i want the maximums to be like okay the maximum is one point two six two six okay that's fine two six the minimum is this or oh, let me let me make the maximum twenty percent and the minimum also twenty percent that is minus twenty percent and also plus twenty percent i think that will make sense let me use point eight that's much what about point seven what about point seven five point seven two point seven one what about that point zero 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 five okay i think that this is okay not bad so I'm going to click on confirm. You can see the range. Just if you see the range of 20%, that is how the DCA bot will work. I've given it an instruction. So the next I'm going to do is I'm going to click on continue. Continue. So I'm not using indicator right now. Okay. So I want to use price range. So let me go for the price range. I canceled that already. 2.72. Okay. Or oh, 705. Not bad. Then the the minimum should be about 1.8. About 1.82. Does it make sense? About 1.88. Okay, let me use 1 1.6. 1.7. 1.7. 0.76. Okay, I think 0 0.76 or 0 0.73. 0 0.79. What about that? Let's use 0.79. That makes sense. Okay. So the next thing is that we're gonna click on continue. Okay, look at the instruction we have now. I'm not using indicator now. The previous ones was indicator, but now I'm not using indicator. So the maximum price is 2.7 and the minimum is 1.79, right? Okay. So when you look at the historical support of US, where is the chart again? When you look at the historical support of US for a long time now. For a long time, when you look at the historical support, you discover that it is usually around here, okay, around this point. Can you see it? So I'm not expecting US to go below that point, okay. No matter the price, no matter the price manipulation, okay, there is always a pressure that will push it up from that point, okay. It is obvious. It is obvious. I'm giving you this secret now. So now come here again. I think we're on the safer side. We are regarding that. So there is probably that I'm not going to lose anything in this blow. So I'll click on continue. So when I click on continue now, there's still some other instruction I want to give. So I want to set how many orders. I want to set um let me say I want to set 10 orders. Yes, 10 orders. So 10 orders will cost me this amount. 
okay so and i'm going to continue so to set 10 by others at different price levels okay so i will continue then the step what if we make the step like um like five percent okay five percent means that for every five percent price drop do you understand it every five percent price drop to start buying so should the market go below this point now the next five percent to buy another five percent to buy so so i'm going to click on continue for every five percent price drop so the weight average now is now 1.6 so by the time it's it is able to buy everything you know maybe the last order is at 1.1.79 okay by the time it the bot is able to buy at 1.79 what it means is that the average buying price would be 1.6 okay is 1.6 the moment the the moment US price gets back to 2.6 yeah, you are a massive profit yes or 3.2 at 3.2 you've made 100% of the money back do you understand the, the, the concept now so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come here and click on continue. We still have more steps to go. Continue. So it is asking me for a take profit. Okay. Um. Well, if I want, I may decide to actually fix it. Okay. Fix it for like let me say like every five percent you sell for me. Every five percent profit you sell. That is, and the 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 what's it called? The profit that. Is the projected profit here is one hundred one and two point eight eight USDT. That is what I'm using fixed. Okay. Then for the DCA, if I'm using DCA, the projected price with DCA is eleven USDT. Do you understand it now? So now I'm going to be using fixed, fixed five percent. Okay. Then I'm going to click on continue. All right. I'm going to click on continue. So I click on continue. Then the next, this is this is the stage four. I don't want to change anything. You know, I know the price, the take profit price point, the take profit type is fixed, not this year. Then I'm going to click on continue. Okay. For the stop loss, I don't want stop loss. Okay. If you think that the price could go to 1.5, 1.2, then it makes sense to use stop loss. But if I thought the price goes below 1.79, I'm willing to hold for a long, excuse me, I'm willing to hold for a long time. All right. So, now I'm going to click on this continue to preview all the configuration. Okay, so I'm going to skip this for now. So now this is the long the direction. This is like just like a preview of everything you've done. Buy at minus five percent, sell at five percent. It is simple and straightforward. Okay, the risk the risk reduction is on the percentage. I'm using percentage mode. Okay, and I'm only using twenty USDT per order per buy order. Do you understand it now? Okay. So at this stage, I'm going to click on continue. Then it will place all the orders on my behalf. All the orders. Okay. So let's wait for the eat. Order, order, the order has been placed. Now he's now waiting for, you know, for the first buy order. All right. It has bought it. Okay. I'm currently, I might, I'm at um, 0%. Okay, minus 0.01 percent. So I don't care what I don't care what the fact negative is. What I care about right now is the dollar cost averaging. Do you guys understand it now? It is the dollar cost averaging. That is the only thing that I care about right now. Okay. So if you like um, this tutorial, you enjoy it, and you've learned something from it, I want you to give it the thumbs up. Okay, share with your friends. And if you have any question about everything I've taught you so far, you know, leave me a comment down below. You know, I'm going to answer it as fast as possible. Okay, so you can also join the community on, on Telegram. Okay, maybe you want to be a part of the community and you know have access to real time updates. You know, as far as the crypto industry is concerned. Okay, so you can join the community also. All right, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification button so that you don't miss out of the subsequent updates on this channel all right so i'm gonna see you guys in the next okay, let me click on done i'm done with that so i'm gonna see you guys in the next tutorial so bye for now